Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobbies. The days of cheap Pokemon card grading are finally back. PSA has announced that they're going to start taking Pokemon card submission at just $18 per card. That is the cheapest grading fees from PSA that we've seen for over a year now. Now it does come with a couple of caveats like you have to be a PSA member, you have to submit at least 20 cards, and they have to be value at under $200 after grading and it's going to take generously six months for your cards to come back to you. But hey, cheap grading fees, $18, that's not too bad. Before you start submitting all of your Pokemon cards, hear me out. I'm going to give you guys some reasons why you should not be submitting your Pokemon cards right now for grading. And if you disagree with me, then go ahead, submit your cards, but it never hurts to get a second opinion. And so I'm gonna give you guys my second opinion on why you should not be grading your Pokemon cards right now. But after hearing my opinion, if you still wanna submit your Pokemon cards and you're confident that you are willing to do it, then go ahead, feel free, be my guest. But let's go over some of the reasons why I think it's a bad time to grade Pokemon cards right now. Reason number one is that it is super risky right now to grade Pokemon cards. There's a ton of risk involved with it. Graded Pokemon cards have continued to decline in price over the past couple of months as more and more graded Pokemon cards hit the open market. I still have PSA submissions from a year and a half ago that have not returned to me. And that means there's a bunch of other people with Pokemon cards in the pipeline that they're waiting to get back. Prices for graded Pokemon cards will probably continue to drop over the next couple of months and years unless there's a dramatic reason why Pokemon hype would return and I don't see that reason happening anytime soon. It's possible, but it's unlikely. Pokemon card prices will probably continue to decline slowly over the next couple of months. Whatever you value you're going to get back from your graded Pokemon cards, that value could drop by half by the time you get them back. So definitely be careful because there's a lot of risk and the market is very volatile right now for graded Pokemon cards. Reason number two why you shouldn't be grading your Pokemon cards right now. It's still very expensive. $18 for a graded Pokemon card is still pretty pricey. If you look at it, you're spending $400 at the very minimum to submit your Pokemon cards to PSA after shipping fees and all of that. That's still pretty darn expensive to grade a couple of Pokemon cards. I remember two or three years ago, it was as affordable as $10, $8 to submit your Pokemon cards and they came back even faster than before. So I'm willing to be patient at $18 for a card. That's still pretty darn expensive. I have cards that I think may be reasonable at that price point. The conditions of my Pokemon cards will be fine over the next couple of years, whether they're graded or not. I keep my cards in very good conditions, in soft sleeves and rigid hard sleeves, in very nice containers. There's nothing that's going to go wrong with them unless there's a flash flood or something of that nature hitting my uh, home. And that scenario is just not going to happen. My cards are going to be fine whether they're graded or not, and I'm willing to be patient with them. If down the line, I think that it's a reasonable time or a reasonable value to grade my Pokemon cards, I will. At $18 a card, I think it's still too expensive to grade my Pokemon cards because I'm not even confident that I can find a 10. And if I'm not confident that I can grade my Pokemon cards, then I know for sure you guys probably have some second thoughts on it as well. Reason number three, not every Pokemon card needs to be graded. I feel like a lot of people nowadays are just grading any Pokemon card that they really have. There's a ton and ton of people that are grading their Charizard V promo, their Charizard GX promos. Some of the most, these are some of the most common cards that are being graded right now. There are tens of thousands of these cards being graded. And the honest truth is you don't need to grade these cards. They're pretty much uh, everywhere. If you want to grade them, you can. However, for me, a graded Pokemon card is really something special. I grade very specific cards that I truly plan on displaying. I really want to show off these cards, and the only way to really show them off is in a graded uh, case. I, it's kind of difficult to 
display a Pokemon card when it's outside of a case. There's a couple scenarios that you can, but you're gonna risk damaging the card. If you want to truly display a card, it's just easier to display once it's graded. And so I really have to ask you, are your cards meant to be displayed? Right now, a lot of people are grading Pokemon cards because they think that's the next big thing. They think all of their cards need to be graded, and that's really not true. Not every card needs to be graded. To me, a graded Pokemon card has a lot of meaning, and it's really because of its displayability. I plan on displaying this card. I plan on showing off this card. I plan on giving it to someone to hold, and it's just easier to show off a card when it's graded. So unless you plan on doing something of that nature, showing off a card, uh, displaying a card, having other people look at your Pokemon card, it's really not worth it to grade your Pokemon card. It might just be better to have it inside of a binder if it's not a display piece. Final reason why I don't think right now is a good time to grade your Pokemon card, and that is whatever card you're probably planning on getting graded, you can probably find on the secondary market already graded. One of the reasons why I used to grade Pokemon cards was that there were so few graded Pokemon cards on the market, I had to grade my own cards. It simply wasn't worth it for me to go on to eBay or other websites and try to purchase a graded Pokemon card. I had to grade them myself because so few people were grading Pokemon cards. I was one of the very few people that were grading the cards that I enjoy. I enjoy the cards that I was grading and I wanted to display them and I could not find them in a graded version so I went and graded them myself. However, the scenario has completely changed. The times have completely changed. If you want whatever card to be graded, it's probably already available on the secondary market graded from abundance of sellers. There's no real reason to grade your card when you can readily go on the secondary market, find a PSA 9 or a PSA 10 copy of it, readily available at an affordable price that's probably cheaper, less risky, and less volatile than grading it yourself. It's just that simple. There's just so many cards out there readily available that are already pre-graded that it's not worth the risk and hassle of grading your cards yourself right now unless you're super confident on what you're doing when it comes to grading Pokemon cards. You've been doing it for a while. You're a professional. You've done it for years. You really know how to grade Pokemon cards. Then go ahead. Submit some cards if you're that confident in it. But right now, the market is so readily available with so many graded Pokemon cards. There's just not a need for me to grade Pokemon cards. If I want a Pokemon card inside of my collection to be displayed, I don't need to grade my own card. I can find it on the secondary market. Why would I risk grading something unless I'm super confident and I'm desperate and I really need to do it? So those are the reasons why I don't think right now it's a good time for you to grade your Pokemon cards. Honestly, I would wait. Your cards aren't gonna be in any worse conditions in three or four years unless you have a dire need to grade your Pokemon cards and display it right now. And let's be honest, you're gonna have to wait six or eight months to get your cards back anyway. It's simply not worth it to grade your Pokemon cards. So I know a lot of people are starting to look into their card list, look into what cards they plan on submitting. Uh, but the honest truth is the price is just isn't right yet. I'm willing to wait for the market to settle down even longer. I'm a very patient collector. I understand that I'm gonna be collecting Pokemon cards probably for the rest of my life. So I'm willing to wait. And I hope you are too. So totally up to you, but that's been my argument for why you shouldn't grade your Pokemon cards right now. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. I read through a lot of my comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.